Hey everybody, I thought it might be fun to do a little tour of my studio workspace today. It's not a very big room and I only use part of it, so I'm backing up into the furthest corner to try to give you a large grasp of where I'm at. Here's another half of the room, which is not mine. I have half of the room and half of a closet for storage with different art supplies and things that I'm not currently using. And the idea, every time I do some changes in this space based on what I'm doing at the current moment or what I'm working with, and right now I'm doing a lot of watercolor work, so I've changed what's out and available to me at an arm's reach. I finally got the wall painted earlier last year and put up some artwork to try to brighten up and make the space a little more inspiring. I have a lot of materials down here. I have some big sketch pads, small sketch pads, paper, camera equipment, and miscellany. This is my primary painting space. I've got a nice lamp. I don't have a lot of room for painting, and the only way I can realistically do two paintings at a time is if I have one taped on the board and another one on a uh, on a block so that I don't have to worry about stretching it. So that's my painting space, which you have seen in many videos. My current paints, brushes, supplies, inks. Up here, I've got some of my favorite critters. These are made by my friend Andy Baruffi of Monstrous Fish, as well as these tiny little clay gnomes. And this is made by a friend of mine from a previous job. And these little shelves are perfect for me to use a little clothes hanger and clip up a drawing that I'm referencing or photo while I'm painting. I have all of my acrylic supplies over here, which I've not been using much recently, and a little shelving unit with random things, business related or office related. I got my cork board. I've been pinning up some of my more recent works up there just to kind of keep track of what I'm doing, where I'm going. I've got a C-stand that I have in the past tried mounting a camera to with mixed results. Right now I've got a light up on here, but it's there as I need it. Some more storage space, your typical cheap $20 office lamp, which I would love to replace with something better. Now in this tiny space I've got here, you'll notice there are two chairs. And that seems really inconvenient in the small space, and it is. But it's because I have such different heights. I need a drafting chair for this desk and a regular office chair for this desk. I've got a nice big bookshelf backing my computer desk here. I just recently went through and changed the order of all my books and supplies. My second shelf there is all notebooks and journals, some full, some empty. And up here I've put the books I'm looking at most recently, the most often. And then other reference materials and books are on the other cubicles, even, even below the desk, you can see. Also, this space is an electrical nightmare. There's not enough outlets. It is terrifying, but work with what you got. My computer desk, I've got my iMac and my tablet, and I just recently got this thing cleaned up because it was such a horrifying disaster. But a clean workspace is so much better to work on. Declutter the mind as well. I've got a couple of these little lamps hooked up that I can use for either working on art or recording. When I need a little bit of a background lamp, I can just grab it and use it. I've got lights. Couple of lights for recording, one window with very little direct sunlight, and a fan because it gets really hot in here and there's no air movement. <laughs> and that's how it is working in the studio. Carpeting that I'm sure is going to come to a terrible ending at one of these days. But that's it. My best attempt at making this small workspace as functional and organized as it can be right at the moment. And I'm sure that will be changing constantly, all the time. <laughs> Reworking things, reorganizing things, and just trying to make it work better for myself. It is my dream one day to have a nice huge space 
where I can do collaborative projects with friends, but for now, I'm pretty happy with where things are. All right, guys, stay sane, stay safe, make art, and I hope that this maybe gave you some inspiration for creating your own well-functioning workspace and re-examining what you've got at home. It's amazing what you can make work. Take care.